back to Just Gaming. When we left off, we learned all about all the other students, and we also found out that Makoto is part sexist, part racist, all boring. Eh. I have been executed! I think you can call voice. me Celeste! Celeste, your bestie! <laughs> Let us proceed. With what? Each of they're all ultimate. They each have their own individual sort of... Um... Something. Okay, time to get down to business. To defeat the Huns! I hate you for that. This is no time <laughs> to stand around making friends like a bunch of dull eyed baboons. Wait, 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 baboons of this month? Oh, that's true. I, I think someone said something about a bigger problem or something. What was that about? Oh, that was just Yasuo Hero. He lost all his, his weed. Veed. Um, listen, the no. evil visit Veed. Well, you see, but, um, you know, uh, had a bunch of stuff happen, then you were just asleep, right? Well, the, the same is true for all of us. What? Seriously? I mean, seriously? <laughs> Just after each of us got to the main hall, we lost consciousness. Oh. And when we came to, we were somewhere in here in the school. That's what happened to you, right? But, but that's just weird that every one of us would get knocked out like that. Piece of you shit. all have iron deficiency. <laughs> exactly! That's why we're all freaking out! And that's not the only thing. You saw where all the windows and the classes and hallways were, right? Enhanced well, instead of normal <laughs> glass windows, it was a bunch of big metal plates. What's that about? What's the deal with the, with the metal plates and the, and the camera? I mean, come on! Come on! What's the deal with the airplanes? <laughs> Plus, all the- all my stuff's missing. Even my cell phone. Um... Yeah. You're right. I haven't seen my... ...PDA anywhere, either. And then there's the main hall here. The front exit is completely blocked by some giant metal hatch. What does this mean? There really? wasn't anything like that when I first got here. <laughs> What's the deal with that? What the heck? Oh, <laughs> what the heck? What's it doing there? Like, we come can't. on! Move we, cannot just, we cannot just turn this whole dang and Rampa playthrough into a, a whole freaking uh, Seinfeld bit. Please. <laughs> it would be come perfect. <laughs> What's no, so doing you. <laughs> I mean, by the way, they're saying the lines, it must be fucking good lord. <laughs> The beginning of Fist of Us begins with the airing of grievances. <laughs> Would you like it better if it was Big Bang Theory? Anyway. <laughs> oh god. I'm sorry. Would you, would you prefer I speak in Sheldon's voice? I'd say not. Oh god. Maybe we got caught up in some kind of, like, you know, crying or something. Is it, like... What, like a kidnapping? The kid is napping. You think maybe someone grabbed us and hauled us off and we're not actually at school? Hey, come on. Come on, don't think like that. Cheer up. Okay, I got weed. <laughs> I bet this is all just part of the school's orientation. Yep, you know. Yeah. I'm sure. That's it. So I'm just gonna take it easy for a little bit. Here, one of this. <laughs> oh! So, you think they wanted to do something to surprise us? What the hell? Huh? Well, if that's all it is, well, it's nap time for me. Why does Leon have a Simpsons expression? He's, He's doing alone! <laughs> He's doing oh, no. his best! <laughs> 
leave my man alone. He's mine. <laughs> you know what I mean. I was way too late. Wait, I was... Yeah. Hello? <laughs> <laughs> I was up way too late last night, so I could use a little shut-eye. I could feel everyone's tension evaporating. But then, it began. Oh, welcome to the purge. Here we go. <clears throat> oh shit. <clears throat> welcome to the purge. You wanna play a game? <laughs> <laughs> Ahem, 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 testing, testing, my check, one, two, this is a test of the school broadcast system. Am I on? Am I on? Can everyone hear me? Okay, well then. That voice seemed totally out of place. It was so playful, so completely unconcerned. I couldn't help but feel a deep, unnerving dread at the sound of it. It was like hearing someone laugh at the scene of an accident. Uh, <laughs> to all incoming students, I would like to begin the entrance ceremony, ceremony at right now. Please make your Please way, make to, the way to the gymnasium at your, at your earliest, earliest convenience. convenience. That's all. That's all. I'll be I'll waiting. waiting. <laughs> okay, bye. Love you. Bye. I love you. Bye-bye. Uh, what the hell it was that just now? Goodbye. Well then, if you'll excuse me. Hey, don't be opacitating in front of me. Hey! What? You're just gonna take off? Just like that? Could it be? Oh uh, yeah, now I get it. This whole thing was just to get us all pumped for the entrance ceremony. <laughs> Man, thank God it was all a joke. I've been totally freaked that this was real. You know? Well. All right. I guess don't come to. I wonder what they got planned for us next. Huh. Uh. Damn. I was totally looking forward to that nap too. I had to go kill the mood. Ew. <laughs> Wait for me. I want to go with you. <laughs> That is that then. I will see you all there. Anyway. Not that anyone cares, but I'm going I'm gonna go too. Everyone yeah. took off for the gym, but I was frozen where I stood. That uneasy feeling I'd had before. I couldn't get it out of my mind. And it looked like I wasn't the only one. This is bad. Yeah, that announcement was totally weird. However, maybe, but just staying, but just staying doesn't mean we'll be safe. Staying put. Oh. Sorry. <laughs> but just staying put doesn't mean we'll be safe. Besides, aren't you guys just a little bit curious to find out what's going on around here? I see. No. If we do not move forward. Um, if we do not move forward, we learn nothing. Only, only choices to put. I, I guess she's right. But still, I'm kind of, no, really nervous. No. We don't have a choice. We have to go. Gotta go. They said to go to the gym, right? You gotta go, you gotta me. go. Yep, pee pee. <laughs> gotta go fast. I gotta go fast. Gosh, gosh it back. Gosh it back. Alright. Now leave. <laughs> leave the area. <sighs> to the gym. Thank you for keeping <laughs> the map open. You think Sonic shits? <laughs> That's exactly where I got Aaron. <laughs> What are we talking about? <laughs> hey, come on. God. I had no idea this Hope Academy place was going to be such a pain in my balls. You could stab somebody by saying no, you... <laughs> it really ain't that much different from the time I spent in Juvie. Hell, this place is even worse. 
Except this time, I don't have any risk of dropping the soap, and well, you know what happens. Oh. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> you got too much dip on your chip now. <laughs> um, and why isn't anyone here? Walking, walking through the halls. I didn't see a single person. This is bad. Isn't that, like, seriously not good? Yeah, no shit. <laughs> They're just trying to spook us. They'll take those melt plates down later, I'm sure of it. Huh. All we can do now is hope for the best and prepare for the worst. Nothing ventured, nothing gained. Dude, shit. Well, hell. You know, like, I'm scared of nothing. Let's just get this over with. Hey, damn it. Hey, where's whoever called us here? What are you thinking? Mono, stop! No running! Well, then. No any no! I shall go, too. Hey, wait! Don't leave me here alone! Hey, no friend. running in the halls, please! <laughs> no running in the halls. <laughs> no running. No running. Hey, bear. <laughs> no mentioning Baldi's basics in the halls. Oh, I have to I mention do. this. I have to- I've gotta mention this. Do you guys remember those infomercials from, like, way back? Like, they always host, like, those really weird, bizarre gadgets? Your cabinet. Okay, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so... They offered this weird little bear thing that you put on your seatbelt. Do you want to know what bear? they called it? Yeah, oh, a I little know what bear. It is. It's the titty bear. That's it. That's the titty bear. It's the titty bear. That's what they okay. called it. What? It's for seatbelts. When it's digging into your skin, it's, it puts a little plushie there to stop it from digging into your skin, apparently. Like, that's a problem. Huh. Yeah. <laughs> That's I wanted to mention that just before we get to the whole. I'm not a teddy bear. I'm not a teddy bear, though. It's a teddy bear. <laughs> exactly! I wanted to do that joke! Okay, time for some more tutorial action. You can press the tab key to observe the room you're in. Observing will display what people and objects you can interact with. Sorry for the late notice. I was getting so wrapped up in the story. <laughs> the teddy bear. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. I actually just got some uh, a new drink to mix with my coffee. Mm, nice. Yeah. Peanut butter cream uh, whiskey. Oh, oh that sounds nice. Oh, where's that? Take I'll take a picture of it later. Still okay, filled with uneasy dread, I did what the announcement said and went to the gym. And I saw what was waiting for us there. Oh. It really does look like an entrance ceremony. Yo. Yeah, duh. See? I told you. It's totally normal entrance ceremony stuff. Hero was right. But in a way, that just emphasized how completely not normal all of us were. Hey there! Howdy! Hey there! Howdy! Howdy. Is everyone Hello. here? Good. Is everyone here? Then let's Good! Get then then let's get things rolling! All right. <laughs> We're still standing. What? Only he gets to sit. Privilege. Huh? <laughs> Teddy bear? Huh? That's Wait. you. Is that the kid? Yeah, oh, that's the hero. Yes. Yeah. Huh? I'm not a teddy bear. I am Mukama. And I am the school's school headmaster. It was the strangest thing I'd ever seen. Yeah. Right before my eyes, it was. Oh, no, it's afraid. What I was seeing was. It was. Utterly incomprehensible. Like something out horror, of horror, 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 Calm down. Ooh. I'm sure there's just a speaker inside it. Hey. I told you already, I'm not a teddy bear. 
I'm Muskuma, uh. and I'm your headmaster. Uh. Uh, move. Seriously, man, calm down. It's probably just a remote control toy or something. How dare you compare me to a child's plaything? You cut me deep, deeper than the Mariana Trench. <laughs> My remote control system is so complex, even the folks at NASA can't recreate or even comprehend it. Spirit! Ah, but don't make me say stuff that might destroy NASA's dreams. I just couldn't bear that. <laughs> it's unbearable. <laughs> yep, that? Really? You are unfortunate. When I go back to watch this later on, there better be a rim shot after that little joke that Monokuma said. <laughs> oh, jeez. Yeah. I'll make sure to add that in. <clears throat> Please no, do. <laughs> Moving on. We really must hurry and get started. Come on. Giving up already? Um, giving up already? Um, no other stupid bear puns? Other. Now then. Down now, quiet down. Okay, so. Hmm. In the gag. Good morning! Everyone, stand and take it about, and good morning! You hear me? Good morning! What's your problem? You don't have to say it back. Now then. Now then, let's commence with the most noteworthy and memorable entrance ceremony. Let's talk a bit about what your school life here will be like. Now, uh, make no mistake, you few students so full of potential represent the hope of the world. And to protect such splendid hope, you will all live a communal life together solely within the confines of this school. Everyone will live in harmony together and adhere to the rules and regulations of the school. <laughs> Huh? Mm. Ah, now then, we're going to the end date for this communal life. Too bad. There is one. In other words, you'll all be here until the day you die. Such is the school life you've been assigned. <laughs> uh -oh. What? What did he say? Until we die? Yep. Oh, but fear not. We have quite an abundant budget, so you won't lack for all the common conveniences. Hold on a second. What's the least of our worries right now. Hmm. Yeah. What the hell? You're saying we have to live here forever? You're screwing with us, right? It's true. I'm screwing with you. I am no liar. Of that, you can be 100% sure. Uh huh. Ah, and just for your information, you're completely cut off from the outside world. So you don't have to worry about that dirty, dirty land beyond these walls ever again. Cut off? So all those metal plates all over the school. You're there to keep us trapped in here? That's exactly what they're there for. No matter how much you may yell and scream for help, help will not come. So, with all that in mind, feel free to live out your life here with reckless abandon. Hey, come on. Come on. What, what the hell is this? I don't care if the school or whoever else is behind it all. This is just a really bad joke. Damn you! Yeah, cut the shit out! It isn't funny anymore! Uh, you you like keep that. saying this is a lie or a joke. Why just skeptics all of ya? What are you gonna do? But I guess you can't help it, huh? You all grew up in an age where you're taught to doubt your neighbor. Well, you have plenty of time to find out whether or not what I say is true. And when that time comes, You'll see with your own eyeballs that I speak the undeniable truth. <laughs> Most unfortunate. Having to live here forever would be quite the problem. What's this? Now, what's the matter with all of you? You decided of your own free will to attend Hope Speak Academy, didn't you? And now, before the entrance ceremony is even finished, you've already decided you want to leave? Hey, um... Oh, but... 
guess I did forget to mention one thing. There is one way for you to leave the school. <laughs> really? Actually, as headmaster, I crafted a special clause for those of you who would like to leave. Did you just say no clip? Did. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> The graduation clause. Now then. Now, let me tell you about this fun little rule. As I mentioned, in order to maintain an environment of harmony here, we rely on a communal lifestyle. And if someone were to disrupt that harmony, they and they alone would be allowed to leave the school. That, my students, is the graduation clause. What? What do you mean by disrupt the harmony? <laughs> well, you know... If one person would to murder another... M murder Yes, indeed! Stabbing, straggling, poisoning, <laughs> crushing, hacking, drowning, igniting! How do you do it doesn't matter. You must kill someone if you want to leave. It's as simple as that. <laughs> the rest is up to you! Giving your all to achieve the best outcome in the worst way possible. A chill shot down my spine. <laughs> you must kill someone if you want to leave. As soon as I heard those words, my blood went cold. <laughs> I bet that got your brain juices flowing. Beat the heck out of a human catching a salmon, huh? Like I said before, you guys are the hope of the world. But you know, taking that hope and seeing it get murdered creates a dark and shadow of despair. Extreme! And I just find it so darn exciting! What the hell? What the hell are you talking about? To kill each other is... It's... To kill each other is to kill each other. I'm sure there's a dictionary here somewhere if you need it. What are you saying? We know what it means! That's not the problem! Why do we have to kill each other? Gee, what? Yeah, stop blabbering on with all this nonsense. Just let's go home already. Blabbering. 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 The blabbering. For what me. do you mean blabbering? Stop, stop blabbering on about blabbering on! Huh? You guys just don't get it, do you? Let us go, let us go. You keep on saying the same thing over and over and over and over. Listen, from the moment on, this school is your home. Your life, your world. Got you. And you can kill as much as you want to kill. So go ahead and go on a kill, kill, killing spree. All right, come on. How are you going to keep this up? Hmm? Huh? <laughs> you know? You got us, okay? You scared the hell out of us. So you can go ahead and reveal the trick now. Huh? Reveal the trick? I'm right, right? Yeah, cuz, I mean, you know, this is all some kind of trick and all, right? So, uh. <coughs> like. Dude, Anya. Shit. Dude, shut the hell up and get out of my way! Uh. Hey. Shoving Hero aside. Mondo placed himself in front of Monokuma, his voice rumbling like thunder. You're probably dead. Listen up, asshole! This shit's gone way too far! What the hell kind of joke is this? What's the matter? Joke? What? You mean like your hair? <laughs> oh! uh! Better put an air horn in editing. Mondo roared out. And then there was a sudden boom. It was the sound of the floorboards as it kicked off and launched himself into the air. He flew at Monokuma, fast and straight as a bullet. He locked onto his target. Here looks like a gotcha, you little piece of shit. Gotcha, you little piece of shit. I don't know if you're a toy or a stuffed animal or whatever the hell. Either way, I'm gonna rip you. Either way, I'm gonna rip you to fucking shreds. What? What if I the head back to the violation of school regulation? Shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. Let me out of here, I swear to Christ. Hey, damn it. 
What? No smart ass comeback this time? Piece of shit! Stop that goddamn peeping and say something! Watch out! Watch out! Get rid of it! Huh? <gasps> huh? Hurry up and throw it! I don't know if her ferocity stunned him into silence or what, but without a word, he did what he was told. He threw Monokuma. I. Uh... And as soon as he did. Going to Brazil! Kaboom! The hell? What? <laughs> That sure as shit wasn't a joke! It blew the hell up! There was a painful ringing in my ears, and I could smell gunpowder. Explosions might happen all the time in movies or whatever, but when it's real life... I've never seen anything like it. But... Uh, but, you know, this means that this teddy bear is really destroyed, right? I told you I'm not a teddy bear! I'm Monokuma! Ah! There's another one?! <gasps> Damn you! You son of a bitch! You seriously tried to kill me just now! Of course! Well, yes! I was serious about trying to kill you. You did violate one of the school regulations, after all. I won't show up with a warning this time, but you better be careful from now on. Any naughty boy or girl who violates my rules won't get off with just a little swat in the butt. This is bad. Hey! Uh, so, does that mean there's, like, a bunch of... A bunch more of you somewhere around? Yep. Monokumas have been placed all throughout the school. Yes. Plus, don't forget the surveillance cameras installed everywhere. And if you're caught breaking any rules, well, you all just saw what happened, right? <laughs> and I won't be so forgiving with my punishment next time, so don't let it happen again. That's not even punishment. That's just wrong. Well, now then, lastly, to commemorate your joint entry into our school, I have a little something for you. This is our official student handbook. Pretty cool, huh? As you can see, it's fully digital. So naturally, we call it the e-handbook. Hmm. <clears throat> yes, well, <clears throat> moving on. This handbook is absolutely vital to a healthy, to a healthy school life. So don't lose it. When you start it up, it will display your name. Always make sure you have the right one. No, this is not your or everyday notebook. It has so many more uses than that. What? Also, it's completely fireproof. Splash it, wash it, brown it, it'll keep on ticking. And thanks to its space age design, it can withstand impact force of up to 10 tons. Very resistant. It contains all of our school regulations, so make sure you review them thoroughly. You guys? You'll hear me say this a lot, but any violation of school regulations will not be tolerated. Uh, rules restrict, yes, but they also protect. Society, for example, will be under chaos without laws. Society! Oh my God, it's Joker! <laughs> the same thing applies here, which is why it's crucial we have strict punishments in place for violators. Okay, well, that brings our entrance ceremony to a close. Bye-bye! Please enjoy your abundantly dreary school life, and see ya! Hi. And with that, he was gone, leaving us all in a state of shock. Like Ohio or something. Ohio! <laughs> so guys, how would you define what we just experienced? What the crap? Like shit! Uh... <clears throat> how? Why? I, I don't understand any of this. We have to live here forever or kill? <laughs> what? What just happened? Calm down. Everyone, we need to just calm down. First, let's take a second look at to summarize everything we just heard. Based on what Monica said, we essentially have two choices. Choice Choice number one is that we each stay here 
living a communal life together until the day we die. And the other choice is if we want to get out of here alive, we have to kill someone, right? But killing someone, that's... We were abducted. We were abducted out of school and stopped in this place meant to look like a school. And now we're supposed to start killing each other? This is... This is... This is a... What is this? Ridiculous. A lie is what it is. All the ridiculous things we've heard. This all has to be fake. Right now, it doesn't really matter if it's real or fake. What matters is... So, in other words... Is there anyone here who's seriously considering all this? To that, nobody had a response. Uh... Keeping quiet myself, I looked around at the others. God, I love this song. Uh... <laughs> They all stared at one another, trying to gauge their thoughts. I can almost taste the hostility. It's like the Spider-Man meme. <laughs> <laughs> and that's when it hit me. I realized the true terror hidden within the rules Monokuma had laid out. You ever notice that a guy's a hero in this shot kind of looks like a porcupine? He oh. does! Oh, stop no, he it! Can't... Hedgehog! He looks like a hedgehog! <laughs> looks like- wait, hold on. That guy over there? Kind of like a blow-up dog? <laughs> wait, what? <laughs> looks like Fat in Orbit. <laughs> uh, you did nothing to you fool me like that! <laughs> <laughs> he kinda looks like Nutty Professor. <laughs> you must kill someone if you want to leave. So you know, he looks more like Kevin McAllister with the way he's doing the whole face thing with his, his hands. Oh yeah, Adobe yeah. rolling. He looks like he's posing for a YouTube thumbnail. He <laughs> oh, I pranked my mom. I'm wrong. Oh, oh shit. No. Those words have planted vicious thoughts deep within each of us. Each of us became suspicious of everyone else. We were forced to wonder: Is somebody going to betray us? And that was how my new school life began. This school, which had come out of nowhere to raise my hopes so high. It's not a school of hope. It's a school of despair. Welcome to despair. The end. Hi. <laughs> Hi, that's it. Wow. <laughs> I mean, that was the prologue. Oh, I thought that was all okay. Prologue and... Here we go. Run the intro! Let's twerk. twerk. Let's go. Get up. <laughs> okay, Get up. so you guys saw what I put in the VC chat? Oh. Yeah, yeah I did see it. <laughs> yep, that's it. Oh. He's pretty good, too. <laughs> Hey, yo, I'm throwing it back now. Think, you think I'm not? Oh, Kiko. Kind of sounds like he's rat. He kind of sounds like Port is rat right now. <laughs> he is. Right now. Wait, what? Wait, what? Wait, what? Wait, what? Yeah, I mixed that with my, uh, I got one little car. <laughs> oh, jeez. Actually, mixed it with my. Oh. I actually have a one of those like Starbucks ma macchiato things that you can get like at the gas station and such. Oh yeah. And so I mixed that with the the caramel macchiato one, and it tastes pretty damn good. Those go really hard. You can actually make Ooh. your own um, uh, frappuccinos at home if you have one of those. Yeah, I, I often do, but I just mix it with the peanut butter uh, and the bread. Oh, nice. Oh, that sounds awesome. Yep. Duncan. Delish. Yeah, I bought it because of... Well, my local go grocery store was uh, giving out samples of like that and this 
Uh, caramel. Yeah. A caramel pecan uh, whiskey. Also, they're giving like samples of it. Oh, like holy beans. moly. Yeah, uh, small ones. Small ones, though, but not big ones. Nice. All right. Well, next time I just gave me, we'll continue. We will actually go into chapter one this time instead of just not doing the prologue again because that never happened. This is the first time we ever played this. Yeah. Did it twice. Totally. We did it twice. <laughs> so until go then. Go take a cat. Well. Twice if you need help. <laughs> so until then. <laughs> We'll be waiting. <laughs> oh, that's take good. it easy, folks. Blink. Blink. Blink.